the office? Yes, sir, I hope so. I have a tape recording of a conversation that I had with John F. Kennedy. Really? Yes, sir. And in it, he is attempting to do something, and he's rather angry about it. That is really, really cool. So did the president know you were recording him? I can't tell you anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was an operational intelligence specialist in the Pentagon, and he sort of raised his cane with me a little bit, and I make the mistake, according to some people, to telling him that there was a mistake made in the White House, and that didn't set too well with him. Wow. A couple of officials in the Joint Chiefs of Staff gave me a couple of letters of commendation. OK. At approximately 1.20 uh, Eastern Standard Time, so obviously you worked graveyard. Yes. Um, you participated in an extended conversation with the President of the United States while the latter was attempting to complete a telephone call to the Army War Room. Throughout the conversation, you demonstrated to a remarkable degree an ability to respond clearly to questions posed in an atmosphere of tension and pressure. What was he calling about? He was trying to get a hold of the Army War Room to ask some questions about events that had taken place in Birmingham, Alabama. And the next thing I heard was the president saying, what's wrong with you fellows over there? <laughs> <laughs> so the president was pissed off at you? Yeah, decidedly <laughs> so. He was really concerned for the safety of the people of Birmingham. Thousands of people had rioted. They had an explosion connected somehow with the motel that Martin Luther King had stayed in. Yeah, 1963 was when the civil rights movement really began to get big. I, I think that's when the people in the United States really saw for the first time how bad it was. I mean, it was on nationwide TV at this time. You know, the yes. dog attacks, the fire hoses. So what do you want to do with it? I want to sell it. All right, and did you have a dollar figure? Yes, sir. What's that? A hundred thousand. Um, I want to talk to someone about this. Okay. I want someone to listen to it, and I think they might have a reel to reel. So, okay. Um, give me a few minutes. I'm going to go give him a phone call. Okay. Okay, it'll be fine. Hey, Mark Rick, I got a guy here. He's got a tape of JFK yelling at him. It's on a reel to reel. You have one that'll work with a reel to reel. Can I cruise out? Okay. See you then, man. Bye. All right. I just talked to uh, the person who runs the Clark County Museum system. He's got a reel-to-reel -reel out there. He really wants to listen to it. And he's going to be able to answer some questions for me. OK. So do you mind meeting me out at the Clark County Museum? No, not at all. I think he'll be surprised at uh, what went on in the conversation. I think he was really surprised about how much I asked for it. So do you remember what the conversation was? One of his people had made a mistake and it had given him the wrong number. <laughs> and he was trying to <laughs> blame us, and I more or less wouldn't let him. One normally does not talk back to the president. That's correct. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we listen to it? Please do. Hello. Yes, sir, Mr. President. I've taken me seven minutes to get these fellows over there. What can we do for you, sir? Yeah. I don't understand why it takes seven minutes to go from the White House to the war room over there. Uh, sir, it shouldn't have normally. Uh, evidently, someone at the White House pushed the wrong button, sir. That's the only explanation. Now, wait a minute. Let's get it straight. First, I got the regular war room, and then they weren't able to switch me over to you. Don't they have a connection around there that can switch me from one war room to the other? We do not have passion capabilities. Whoever used that line from the White House uh, used the wrong line, sir. Can you find out who we're supposed to call in the future so we can get every number right so we don't have to screw around like this? All right, now, you tell them, the fellow downstairs what, what he called wrong? Uh, yes, sir. Now, I just wanted to find out what units you were moving to McClellan and to Maxwell. That's it. OK. That's it. That's neat. Yeah, That's an interesting piece. He was not happy. Would this be considered public property? By mid-62, they were recording in the White House, and they were recording telephone conversations as well. And those tapes are now publicly available. So what you're saying is that this is probably in the Kennedy Library or the National Archives, and this isn't like the only recording of JFK being pissed off over the phone? Yeah, I think this is in either the Kennedy Library Collection or the National Archives. If this tape does exist elsewhere, it might make my tape 
valued at a much lesser amount? Yes, it, it would be available elsewhere. I don't know that it would have a lot of collector value. I see. I hate to do this to you, but there's no way I could buy this. Yeah. I think you have something you really need to pass down to your grandkids. OK. It was great listening to it, though. Yeah. When he told me that the tape probably had been recorded by the White House, it really shocked me because I had no idea. The thought had never occurred to me. I thought I had a one-of-a-kind deal.